The week has been completed. Five for five for Lafayette Athletics. Here's Mike Joseph with a happy Fran O'Hanlon. Coach, you hung on there at the end, and uh, your thoughts. I mean, it looks like you guys are learning how to finish ball games. Yeah, I mean, I thought we played pretty well for the for the whole game, and and then they uh, closed it at the end. They hit some big shots, uh, but we hung tough, and we were we we finished it out the way we needed to finish it out. Um, we knew coming in, this is a team that was in the uh, uh, the championship last year. They went to the NCAA, so. We knew that they were going to be a tough out for us, and, and they were. Um, they're, they're a championship team. They're not, they're not giving up. Are you finding out that we always talk about the other team and how good they are? You, you guys are turning out to be a pretty damn good team yourself. Yeah, we move the ball. We have the right guys, and everybody's contributing. You know I mean? Like today, for example, we have, we have Neil come in there. Yes. I thought it gave us some really Great good minutes. minutes, you know, and, uh, and that's just something we have to keep building on. Uh, and, uh, but I was happy with, the, you know, the – the progress of our team. We still have some work to do, but that being said, I, I like where we are right now. Okay, Coach, five of the next six on the road. You get a couple days off here, eight or nine days, no no room off for you, but eight or nine days is probably a, a get a little bit of rest. Yeah, it'll be good for the, the kids to get away, you know. Now, who knows what we're going to have when we come back and start right. practicing, but um, it, it'll be good for them, you know, mentally, uh, more than physically. Well, you're off to a great start. Congratulations. Thank you. Let's bring in the – by the Happy way, everybody. everybody. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate that. Josh, come on in here. Justin Jaworski, Justin, 27 points today. You tied a record here, Kirby, 11 for 11 from the free throw line. You've played some tough basketball teams so far. This one, obviously, right up there. Yeah, absolutely. They're really athletic. Uh, they're two bigs. Are, they're men in there. And then getting number five back was huge for them, Xavier Malone. He's an all-league guy. And then, I mean, they had their, their point guard out, so that's a very, very good basketball team. Yeah, you. Well, I just talked to Coach and said, you know, we always talk about the other team and how you guys are becoming very good. You're moving the basketball, you're shooting the basketball while you're getting contributions from up and down the line. Even got us from freshmen today, uh, 10 guys deep today. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're older now, which is nice, but at the same time, we have a lot of stuff to, to get better at. We have a lot of stuff to clean up, too many turnovers today. But I think another thing that we're doing well is we're defending and we're rebounding the basketball. We out-rebounded them by 12, so that's big for us. And that is big as well. So you have a nice Thanksgiving. Congratulations. Take a little break. Get some rest for your legs. Yeah, absolutely. You too. Appreciate it. Okay. Great job, guys. Uh, a big win. Lafayette, 4-2 and two right now. Five of the next six on the road. We'll see how they go from there. But after that, the Patriot League begins. Back to you. All right, Michael, job well done. We wish all of you and your family a happy Thanksgiving as we take a look at the highlights from today's ball game. There are plenty of them. Here's John. And we were really treated to a terrific uh, basketball game today, Gary. Uh, Tyrone Perry uh, continues his growth and development. He's a point guard that can score the basketball, brings a ton of energy to this Lafayette team. And, of course, uh, I'll tell you, this group right here, that's uh, Caleb Bishop on the follow. This, uh, this FDU team does not lack for talent. They're well coached. They play great defense, dribble drive by E.J. Stevens. He finds our Coca-Cola player of the game, Justin Jaworski, for one of his many offensive conversions. And uh, again, uh, Malone Key, lefty, uh, new to the lineup, uh, really made his impact felt for the FDU Knights. Again, you see his rise up. He's very difficult to defend off the dribble. This was a great test for Lafayette in so many ways, Gary, as they continue to grow. Uh, there's the ball movement. Again, it ends up in the hands of Tyrone Perry. Everybody on this team, Gary, can score the basketball. They're uh, very difficult to defend. We talked about their balance. Watch the finish by uh, Isaac Suffering. That was a shot of the game, probably. Uh, Isaac uh, known to be able to finish around the basket. Uh, boy, this was a big shot by Bishop. And Lafayette had the game, we thought, well in hand. That three got it down to a, a five or four-point game at that point. Then he hits another one right here. And uh, FDU would hang around to the very, very end. And I'm telling you, uh, they're going to be heard from in the Northeast Conference. This was a big bucket by E.J. Stevens off the uh, inbounds play that just was enough to keep FDU at arm's length. And then, of course, the flush by Miles Cherry to put the cherry on top Love of a it. heck of a visit. Great That transition. just kind of rolled off my tongue. That was perfect. You see what I did there? I did. <laughs> <laughs> now, see, you carry it too far. You get one good one, and you carry it. Here's how the scoring went. Uh, five guys in double figures for uh, Fairley Dickinson. 19 Bishop led them all. Malone Key with 15, 14 for Elijah Williams, 13 for Rush, and 10 for Powell. They go to one and four. Lafayette raises their record now to four and two. 
They had four guys in double figures. Jaworski leads all scorers with 27. Tyrone Perry tied his career high with 12, tied his career high rebounds with seven, and had a career high three three pointers in the ball game. 15 points for Miles Cherry. Miles gets another double double, his fourth this season, his sixth overall. EJ Stevens with 11 points. Lafayette he out rebounds. Fairleigh Dickinson, 35 to 23. That is a big number. The Leopards are up next December 3rd when they take on St. Joseph's. That's it on a Sunday afternoon. We're so glad you spent some time with us, and I think it was rewarded with a good Lafayette win, 80 to 75. For John Leon, for Mike Joseph, uh, obviously the RCN or the LSN television team headed up by John Sabino. We thank all of you for spending time with us. I'm Gary Laubach. Goodbye, everybody.